and welcome back. You're looking good. You're looking very good. And in this video, we're going to cover alternate tuning and parallel pitch presets. The alchemy of Variax technology in my opinion. The save and manage buttons allow you to save and manage your custom alternate tunings in both Workbench HD and the onboard alt tuning settings of the Variax. This can be useful when building new guitar models and you want to audition or save your favourite tunings quickly. You can also transfer these tunings to the Variax to recall them with the onboard alt tuning knob. This is great if you want to quickly access common tunings that you frequently write or perform with, but don't want to save into the actual model presets. To create and save custom tunings in Workbench HD, make sure your Variax Alt tuning knob is set to Model. This allows you to hear the tuning edits you're making to the model preset. Engage the tuning tab so both the word tuning and the power symbol is lit up white. When it's light grey, it's in standby mode. Click the little arrows on each string to move up or down in pitch by semitones. When you create a tuning you like, hit save and name your tuning. From here you could transfer that tuning to a physical position on the onboard alt tuning knob by hitting manage, then select your custom tuning on the right, select what position you'd like that tuning to be saved to in the alt tuning knob, then hit the left arrow to transfer. If you want to save your custom tuning in the actual model preset, I recommend renaming the preset to reflect the tuning. This is to make things easier when you're managing your presets later. Hit the Upload to Variax button. Now when you have your alt tuning knob set to model and you load the preset you just saved, it will have your custom tuning. So this is how I use alternate tuning mostly. Another tuning scenario might be wanting to emulate a capo on say an open G tuning because that key doesn't suit the vocalist's voice. I just click this link button to link all of the strings and move up or down in semitones until I find the right key. Hello. Less, less. Okay, what about? Alone. Less, less. How far can we take this? Alone. Less, less. Breakfast table in an otherwise empty. Wow, it's getting a bit chipmunky. It's probably too low. Alone. 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 So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Parallel Pitch allows you to create unique 12 string tunings. Activate this setting by turning on its power switch from standby. Like the previous save and manage functions, you can recall and save your own parallel pitch presets. When creating a custom 12 string in Workbench HD, it's important to be able to adequately hear the mix between your primary strings and the parallel strings. A quick way to get started is to enable mix link, double click a value, then type 45 and hit enter. Now your overall parallel strings mix is 45%. This just makes it easier to hear what you're editing. You can go back and finesse the individual strings mix later. Pitch allows you to set the parallel pitch offset to either an octave higher, which is 12 semitones, or set it to unison. I typically like to have all of the strings that would usually be wound doubled by an octave. 
and then two unisons. Cent is a unit of measurement used to express intervals much smaller than a semitone. There are 100 cents in one semitone. So say if you were to type negative 100 in the cents value for the G string, your parallel pitch note would be F sharp, an exact semitone down from G. If you then disengage mix link and typed 100 into the G string mix value, bringing the parallel mix up to 100, you will only hear F sharp. Hopefully you can see the potential applications for parallel pitch beyond replicating a 12 string. In short, Sense is a fine tuning adjustment designed to help you achieve that 12 string chorusy effect caused by slightly out of tune strings. Notice that you can only attenuate Sense on strings that have the parallel pitch offset toggled to an octave. In other words, you can only go down in pitch, you can't go up. On the strings that have the parallel pitch offset at unison, you can tune up or down in pitch up to 100 cents, which again is the equivalent to a semitone. With parallel pitch, you can turn any six string into a 12 string, or you can potentially add a semitone harmony above or below your primary strings tuning. If you want to get really out there, you could set the magnetics blend to 11%, Set the Variax tuning of the B string up 6 semitones to F. And with Mix Link and Sense Link enabled, return everything to zero. Then disengage Link and set the parallel pitch up 100 cents at 62% mix. And now we'll have three different notes going at once, which is technically a chord, some kind of major seven sus something or other. That's just one string. You can get some cool effects. In the next video, I'll briefly cover all of the other stuff I haven't yet covered. It's probably going to be the crappest of all these videos. But maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be amazing. Maybe it'll be amazing. Subscribe to the Shuriken Guitars channel and go on the running to win a...